Third question, how do you develop new leaders when you're not spending as much time with people? I actually believe you should still be spending the same amount of time. It's just not going to be in person. You're still going to want to help each person really understand their strengths and how to lean into them and amplify them, how you're challenging them to grow in those areas. You're going to want to ask them questions about what's challenging to them as a leader, the challenges on their team dynamics. Reflection is a powerful way for people to understand and think about what they might do next time and respond differently. And there's a ton of things you can do that are low or no cost for development. Sharing books, podcasts, having people read articles, listen to TED Talks, and have them come back and discuss them with you. Share what they've gained from them and what it means for their roles. What you do still looks the same. It's just you have to be intentional about where you spend your time and how you make sure you're proactively reaching out and developing people when you're not in person. Hashtag Digital Workplace Day. 